So I've decided to join my first ever game jam. So I'm going to be taking part in the big game jam number seven, hosted by GDevelop. Um, some great sponsors here. So having never done a game jam, um, I'm a little bit nervous as to kind of whether I can do one, whether I can do it in time or not. But I thought I'd like to give it a go and um, I got a kind of a, a cool idea based upon the theme. So we're going to see if I can get the game done and get it get it done in time. And I'm going to video it as I go um, each day and see see where we are at the end, you know. This is day one. So I'm just going to show you what I've got so far. Um, the premise is it's going to be a top-down bullet hell kind of game. And where the overpowered aspect is going to come into it is you're going to be able to basically have um like this uh best way to describe it. like a like a like a button uh, like a perk which will be in the like the middle of the screen somewhere as a button or something just a little icon that shows you what this perk is and um what what it's going to do is going to randomly change as of when it decides it wants to and if you utilize it the effects will be overpowered so you can imagine here, let's just say you're getting boxed in, you're gonna get completely squashed, you're about to die. Um, this random perk that you will see an icon of, you might look at it and, oh look, great, it's a nuke, you know, it's gonna blow everything up. So you press to utilize it and boom, everybody dies on the screen, which gives you a bit of respite um, before more try and come and get you, you know. Um, it could well be that there's, I don't know, like a big laser coming in from one side and it just takes things out as it goes along, anything in the path. It might be that it gives you a big shield. It could be that it, you know, makes your gun super OP. All of those kind of things. But the little twist is there are going to be negatives in there. Um, and the timing of when it changes will be completely random. I would like to think I'm going to make it so it doesn't go on and on and on you know the idea is, is a quick game see how long you can survive kind of thing see what score you can rack up and and it's just quick fire games um you know one of the little sort of pick me up i'll have one more go kind of feeling so um that's where i'm currently at with it um so i have the player just moving about i have his gun that's rotating around so that it will rotate to whatever way your your sort of mouse cursor is pointing and whatever direction you're going in, you've got a little dash feature as well. Um, probably have that on some sort of cooldown or something like that. Uh, but we'll cross that bridge um, as I get more into it. That's um, currently day one's progress. So let's see how we do in day two. Okay, day two. Um, been a bit of a bit of a late night, but we've made some good progress. Um, I got a feeling it's going to be the the theme of this week uh, late nights early starts but we got some good progress in with the game so um, I'm just going to talk you through that and kind of show you where we're up to with it okay so we've got a couple of the different enemy types in now um, as well as a couple that kind of shoot that I haven't done anything else with at the moment we've got this kind of dash mechanism uh, we've got things that chase you we've got a bit of screen shake as we shoot these guys here um, but feedback you see they sort of just pop red as well we got a whole kind of damage system in place so different enemies will take different amount of shots until they die based upon the gun that you use them we have a health system you'll see down in the bottom left um, they will, uh, it will you will take damage pretty much where we're up to at the moment a lot of groundwork has been done in some of the systems in place to help going forward uh, there's a bit of in this sort of animation, a few sort of particles and stuff on bullets hitting the wall and that kind of thing. So we are making good steady progress and just need to keep pushing forward and see how we can develop it um, and bring the idea of the overpowered mechanics coming in and see how that kind of goes. So um, I'd say pretty good start. Still lots and lots to do. It's going to be very tight to kind of get everything done in place so some of the text you'll see in here there's there's a time survive so i've mentioned that i wanted it kind of quick fire games we're going to make up some kind of score based upon you getting score when you destroy enemies 
mixed with your time that you survived and stuff like that. Uh, the enemy count is simply debug info that will come into play later on. The systems in place, um, and then we're going to have the whole mechanism of the the overpowered mechanic and what that can just change the complete landscape of a game. So stay tuned. We'll see how we get on in the next days. The end of day three. Um, bit of a frustrating day, I'd say, today. Um, I seem to have got bogged down fixing a lot of trivial sort of issues that sort of just took way longer than they should have um, and felt like I just wasted time. But we did get a fair bit done, so I'm just going to kind of talk you through what, what we achieved today. We're starting to build the spawn system out. Um, I've just got some testing stuff down here at the moment. So I can enable each one for each enemy and see how they behave and make sure we got everything right. So I'll start off just by running you through each of these guys. So first thing I should notice is um, we now have our character in and he's going to have different guns and different abilities and stuff. So see here the first enemies are all spawning out of different kind of areas. Um, and it's just on a basic heavy sort of few seconds now. That's character one. If we put the bat on. So I don't know if you noticed, but everybody's now got a little health bar relevant to them. Um, these guys are one shot, so not really good to show you on that. Next guy, I think it's a skull, and I think it's two shot for these guys. So you see, yeah, it goes down to half life. And zero, bam. So I'm going to put another little animation when the skulls die because they look a bit weak at the moment. They don't really do a lot. So I will add another little animation on that one. Then we've got the large blob guy. He takes about five shots. And we've implemented the first boss. It's like this little floating eye thing. And he shoots his, his shots. And when he dies, it's a nice little effect when he dies. So, nice little explosion animation and a nice little camera knockback just to add more feedback. I wish I would have just um, focused on getting the core mechanics of a game in and then worried about kind of all the little fancy bits afterwards, you know, fitting what I can. So, we also have some, um, some layering in play here as well now, which is quite nice. So, the enemies will appropriately swap order in on the Z order depending on who's closer to the camera who's further away. It was a productive day, um, although I started off by sounding pretty deflated. It was very productive. A few of the niggly bits we got sorted so hopefully that puts us in better stead going forward. But yeah, we'll see what the next days bring. End of day four. Um, didn't get in as long as I wanted to do today, um, such as life. Uh, so what I have done is I've set up a Trello board um, to break down what I need to do. Um, so I've created a to-do list, I've created a critical to-do list, um, in progress, done and bugs. So tonight with my limited hours I thought I'd crack on the start screen, um, which I've actually finished. So what I'm going to do is just show you where we're up to. Okay, so this is um, the start screen. It now has, the game has a new name, which is uh, OJEP, which is Overpowered Jeopardy. Um, the Jeopardy coming from the Overpowered Spawn System once that's all set up and in place. So um, together you get OJEP. So if we just hit play here, get a little animation coming now. Which works quite nicely. And then it takes you into the game. It's currently, what, 2.36, so I'm going to sign off and I'm going to get my uh, myself to bed, I think. Thank you very much. See you on the next one. The end of day five. So, been a good day today. Um, technically, we've got a game, okay? It's not fully fledged. doesn't have everything I want in it yet, but technically it's a game. You can start your game. 
uh, your play with increasing difficulty as it goes on. You can die, um, and you can start the game again. Technically, it's a game. Okay, so if we look on our Trello board, um, we obviously had our start screen done yesterday, but we now have a game over uh, screen. We have fixed a bug with enemy counter not adding or subtracting correctly. Um, I've added spawning animation, so when the enemies come, you kind of know when they're about to spawn. Uh, we have gun shake whilst firing, we have muzzle flash when firing, we have new gun images, and I've added crosshairs for cursors. And then now you see we got a new gun here. This is one of the first guns that has a bit of a power up. Um, we now have this crosshair. But you can see now, look, we've got this little animation when our character's about to spawn in. So if you're getting kind of backed into a wall here and you sort of notice one's being spawned right next to you, you can kind of get yourself away. Game desperately needs some uh, audio though. It's very um, lifeless almost without it, you know. Audio does make a, plays a big part in the immersion. So you can see it's starting to ramp up quite, quite a lot now um, in terms of difficulty. We've spent 180 seconds almost, so that's three minutes worth of game time, and it's getting pretty, pretty hectic. Um, we have none of the Jeopardy system in place yet, so that will totally change the landscapes of the game. So if I just let myself die here a second, you'll get to see the death screen. And it just gives you an option just to um, play again, basically. So that's what we've got for day five. Um, pretty solid progress. Kind of amazing seeing how far it's come in those times. You know, I've put a lot of hours into it, but it, it has come on quite good. So fingers crossed I can keep progressing it. And um, by the deadline, hopefully, we've got a lot more cool things in place. So see you in the next one. Day six, um, so close now. It's uh, getting to the old squeaky bum time, you know, where it's um, trying to get it all finished in enough time. Uh, in some respects, it seems very close. In other respects, it seems still miles off, you know. There's um, constantly stuff I'd like to add. And I keep thinking of new little ideas and, you know, you just want to snowball, but it really is so important to try and keep on task um, I'm failing it is my first game jam and I have learned the biggest bit of advice I would give anybody who's going to start out or if I was ever going to do one again and that's just get the core mechanics done then add all the fluff again all this text of course is just mostly debug info so you can ignore that right so dash you can see little of things now okay so this guy he um he has some sort of waypoints that he'll move about and he'll shoot his little fire and that's his pattern he kind of sprays out as he shoots and what you'll notice is every time see these are coming in a bit quick but every time they're about to move it will show you a little eye of where they're going to go um, and they can overlap and go on the same one. It's kind of a bit annoying, but I don't have much time to make it much better than that. In reality, you won't be having this many coming in in quick succession, sort of one after another. I probably need to change all the bosses, and make make them a bit more um, resistant, you know. So yep, yeah, that's uh, that's basically where we're at with with these guys. Okay, so then it comes up your score there. So you see now, um, I've got all the little characters down the left-hand side and how many you've killed in each run. So you see that one, we've got 10 of the um, the demons and that multiplies with your survival score and gives you a grand total score. Again, this little uh, dash particles just gives a little something when you, when you move. Okay, so this one's got kind of a cool little pattern when he shoots just kind of fires out in all kind of directions but you can just imagine when you got all the little guys chasing you as well and maybe you got one or two of the other bosses on the scene as well it's gonna get quite crazy with these um, with the bullets 
So yeah, that's pretty much where we're up to. So that's uh, that's day six is progress. Catch you for the next one. It's currently 3.12 at the end of day seven. Um, I think that's going to be a wrap for the day. Just going to show you quickly what I've managed to get in today. What I have done though is taken the perk system and started work on the perk system. Now, that's a major part of kind of the game, so I've made really good progress on that. Um, and once I get that done, it's basically everything in place, and then I can do some testing and ramp up the uh, progressive spawn system and sort of test the difficulty of the levels and the kind of how it's going up and make sure it seems to have a nice flow to it. Other than that, um, a poor screen, which can be fine, it shouldn't take too, too long, and get some music and sound effects in. Quite a lot to kind of get in there, but it shouldn't be too bad. And if I've got any extra time, I'll do the kind of bits over here in the to do list. But the weekend is obviously a bit more family rotated as well, so I'm not sure how much time I'll get into at least the evening anyway. And then I've got summer Sunday as well to, to kind of polish it up, hopefully. So just going to show you where we're kind of at with it now. You see down at the bottom, you've, you've got this counter going up, it's on a number six. And it's counting up so this is your perk so anywhere between 5 and 15 seconds your perk will change so currently it's a six which is like a shield So day eight, and we got it done. Um, it was tough. It was very, very tough. You know, I beat the deadline, not as early as I would have liked. I would have liked to have um, finished up nice and early, had the rest of the Sunday to sort of chill out kind of thing. I had plans I wanted to do, but I just had to get it finished first. And by the time I'd got the builds ready and uploaded it and tested it actually up on the web browser, I realised I needed to make a few more tweaks and it just kind of went on and on for a little bit longer. Um, but eventually we got it up with maybe say an hour to spare. A couple of things I could have tweaked afterwards but it would have took longer than an hour so it just really wasn't worth it. And then I'll show you a bit of gameplay of the final product. Eight days in total. Rolling Aura. Lightning bomb. 